Hi, so in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at using templates in Looker Studio, uh, which is a new version of Google Data Studio. Um, so uh, we've just logged in here um, and there are a number of ones up at the top that are available to you. Um, and we could use one as a, I'm just going to show you, you can go into the template gallery and there's all sorts of ones down here uh, and using different categories. For example, uh, you could look at Google search ads or YouTube analytics. Um, uh, display and video, etc. But we're going to take a look just at the Google Analytics ones. Uh, and the one we're going to take a look at doing is uh, the Acme marketing one. OK, so we'll just click on that one there uh, and you you can pop in and, and take a look at these and you can see, oh, this looks very nice. And obviously you need to attach your own data. This is the Google merchandise data that they're looking at at the moment. And you're thinking, yeah, it's really like I like this one, how the site sessions and all the rest, which channels are driving. That's all nicely done with the colors and everything. And it's all nicely laid out. And um, but I um, don't really want this bit over here, but maybe I could change this round to make it more specific to Ireland. So what we do then uh, Obviously, you'd need to put in your own data, uh, which you just sort of select it. But we're going to go edit and share. OK, uh, and when you come in here, you'll see up at the top here, it now says copy of sample data. So I'm just going to put in my name here or my initials in there. Uh, and you can tell that this is my version of it and uh, that I'm working on at, at the moment. Now, just so you know, when you select something over here, the options for avail are available over here. So, for example, if you didn't want date and you want something else in here or if you didn't want sessions, but you wanted uh, for example, some other sort of option in here, um, then you could you could choose uh, those particular options. Um, but the one that we want to change here is the one over here. So what uh, what are the top countries by session? I don't really want countries. What I would like here are uh, towns. Uh, towns. Uh, what are the top towns in Ireland is what we'd, we would really like. Um, so over here, we click on the thing we want to change uh, and it's actually the setup we want to take a look at. So in here at the moment, it's saying country. Actually, we don't really want country. What we want is and the term is city is what we want here uh, and we can choose uh, city. OK, uh, and that's showing us everywhere, but we're not really interested in the whole of the world because actually our data, when we get down to it, will only be Ireland. So we'll scroll down then and we'll make the zoom area and we'll type in Ireland. And we choose Ireland and you can see it's showing Ireland, but it's also picking up uh, the United Kingdom over there. And we're not really interested in that. So we're going to add in a, a filter in here um, and we'll say. So in here we'll go select field and we're going to look for country. OK, and we're going to say country and contains an Ireland. Um, and we'll hit save. And it takes again a few seconds uh, to update and you'll notice the spots in the UK have gone. So now it's only going to show you Ireland um, and it's focused in on Ireland um, and that uh, works uh, very well. And so you, what I'm really showing you here is anything you want to change, you just kind of click on it and see, can you then Google and find out how to make those changes uh, that you want? Um, and so at the moment, uh, this one here is showing you um, other countries as well. And, and again, um, and, and we could, for example, um, sort of put on a filter. So it's now only showing you uh, Ireland as well. But th the real idea is you click on something here and you just make some changes over on the right hand side. And so you can see I've made the same changes here as I did to the chart above and that's how it would display. Or another thing that you could do is you could select this and press delete and get rid of that um, and then sort of add uh, something else of your choice. So this one here is showing you uh, age and gender. And so we just select this one here, cl clicking on the outside edge and control C to copy and control delete to paste. And I'm just really showing you here. I've just copied and pasted that one there. And I think it's not age I want. I want to see uh, in terms of advertising. So if I look down here um, and I go down um, and, and maybe take a look at the in market segment. That's one advertising option. I'm wondering how many of those we're hitting at the moment. So I could actually change that over to the in market segment and then uh, click and drag that out and then maybe drag it up and. Um, and so you can take a look at, at the different options uh, that are, are available in there. So it's just quite easy to change them over.